everyone um, to bring the fire. We've been doing the, the Dirty Dozen, uh, which are toxic everything. Toxic thoughts, toxic words, toxic emotions. Um, and today we're doing toxic seeds. Um, and, uh, and so let's look at it. In the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7, it says, Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. And so that scripture reminds us that the seeds we plant in our lives, whether it's good or bad, positive or negative, will eventually bear fruit. And, and of course, we are at the place in our lives where we're trying to bear good fruit. And to bear good fruit, you have to sow good fruit. You have to sow good seeds into other people, into yourself. Um, it's important for us to sow seeds of kindness, love, and forgiveness. Forgiveness being very key, as with unforgiveness, uh, is probably the most toxic seed that we can have inside of us. Uh, be mindful of the seed we sow, knowing that the power to impact our lives and the lives of those around us. Uh, with unforgiveness in our hearts, um, and bitterness taking root. Uh, it's, it's the kind of seed that destroys relationships, uh, interferes with your purpose in life. Uh, it's just very hard uh, to serve God with this seed inside of you because it does not produce anything good. And so uh, looking at... Uh, toxic seeds um, we're looking at unforgiveness and unforgiveness um, bitterness shame grief regret guilt um, these emotions hold your mind in a nasty vice grip you know what a vice grip is <laughs> sometimes you have a headache and you feel like your head's in a vice grip well that's what uh, unforgiveness does to our spirit it has our spirit in a vice grip, which transfers over into our mind, will, and emotions. It's hard to live a life of freedom with this toxic seed inside of us. And so um, we need to understand the importance of forgiveness. And while we cannot change the past, we can change the way we look at the past, how we view the past. Um, and when we can do that, we begin to reorganize our thoughts and memories and rebuilding new memories over the old. It's like writing over, uh, rebooting your computer, writing over the old program and installing a new program. Uh, unforgiveness harbors bad memories, uh, shame, harm to ourselves, and, uh, and so we don't want to keep that seed inside of us. And ways that we can uh, figure out or gather information, because that's what part of this process is, is to gather information that we have inside of us. Uh, so as you think about forgiveness, maybe the lack of forgiveness in your life, notice what your five senses are telling you. Are there toxic memories or thoughts that even um, fleetingly cross your mind? Number two, who's hurt you? Who has hurt you? Why are we letting those hurts continue to manifest inside of us producing bad seed? Um, who's harmed you? Who's made you feel unworthy? Because those feelings of unworthiness are toxic seeds. It does you no good. And so we want to find those things, no matter how remote, no matter how hidden, no matter where they may be, and, and begin to pull them out so that we can walk a life of, of freedom, of liberty, of um, good seed. Amen. Amen. Uh, and when we have good seed inside of us, we can sow good seed. 
And another way to protect ourselves in, in the future or in the present is to watch the eye gate. Whatever you're allowing your eyes to see takes root and it becomes seed inside of us. Whatever you're allowing your ears to hear, uh, what, what type of music are you listening to? What kind of conversations are you listening to? Um, all those things, especially music. It's a, music is very spiritual and it takes it makes seeds take root inside of you you may not know where things are coming from or why you feel a certain way but you feel a certain way because something has took root something has been planted inside of you um uh if you listen to seductive music or or lustful words you're allowing a seed of lust to take root inside of you and uh and those are things that we want to look out for if we're looking to live lives of liberty, lives of freedom. But more than that, if we're looking to live for the Lord, to be the best testimonies that we can be for God, uh, then these are the things we need to be cautious of, making sure that we are producing good fruit, uh, producing things that will bless our lives and not curse our lives making sure that we're not harboring unforgiveness in our hearts. All right, we've been talking about toxic seeds today. And um, if you don't know Lily, this is <laughs> Lily, and she's been with our ministry for a long while now. And she's going to share a little testimony about the effects of having toxic seed inside of you. So Lily, tell us a little bit. Uh, Having a toxic seed is the bitterness, the anger, the unforgiveness, the, the hatred, um, the, it, and it's really the not knowing. You know, you, you, you feel it, but you don't know how to deal with it. And uh, it, 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 it suffocates you, you know. It, it gives you this feeling that you just, you, you hate everything, and, and that was me. I, I hated me. I, I didn't. I didn't love me because I didn't know who I was, and I and I all. I really hated the white folks because I mm -hmm. I was miseducated about uh, life. Period. As growing up, you know, and and when you allow that toxic to get in you, you know, uh, of what people saying or what they doing or, or what ain't right, and you know it's not right. You don't supposed to let it affect you none. But somehow, you know, when you enter this world. Uh, and you don't know who Jesus really is, it, it can affect you, and it had affected me so. But until I came to Life Center, uh, I tried not to allow people to talk crazy, to uh, criticize nobody. I, I love you no matter where you at, who you are. Uh, now I know that we all have the same color blood, you know, not, no matter what color you are, what gender you are, who you are, you know, uh, because I love Jesus today, so... Uh, toxic, if you have it, talk about it, uh, release it, because it would kill you mentally, physically, and emotionally. It would kill you. Amen. Amen. So there, you heard it here. Um, toxic seeds, you, you need to probe your own heart and see what's in there. And if that's in there, you want to make sure that you repent, release it to God, and live in freedom. Amen. Amen. See you next time. For more information about the Life Center, please go to changingourcity.org.